So hi everyone, Sheila here with my weekly update. So it's been another busy week sort of work-wise, so maybe not as much creatively, but I did get back to my life drawing classes, so that was great. Um, but this week I got a chance also to see some art in real life and also to hand in some art for others to see in real life as well. I dropped off um, a little 30 by 30 piece for the Society of Scottish Artists 30 by 30 exhibition, which is happening as, alongside their uh, annual exhibition at the Royal Academy in Edinburgh next week, that opens next week. Um, and also because I was in Edinburgh, I took the opportunity to go to the uh, National Portrait Gallery of Scotland and see the Alison Watt exhibition, A Portrait Without Likeness. Now, if you are in Ed Edinburgh, I would really recommend that you go and see this exhibition. Um, she's done a series of works based and inspired by the work of Alan Ramsey, the 18th century portrait artist. Um, and he his portraits, um, they had a lot of, uh, I suppose, a lot of fine detail in, in the clothes and the drapery um, of his subjects and Alison has taken this and done a series of works um, done some beautiful just stunning works of lace, of flowers, um, of ribbons, really really worth going to see and I really like the way in the catalogue she talks about conversations that you have when you look at, at, at a painting because she, as she was saying you know when you look at a painting you're actually seeing in the mind of the artist as well um and yeah you start a convic you engage with something and this is the culmination of, of her engagement i guess with alan ramsey's work for for a number of years so really really interesting to go and see that and, and find out more about the thought processes behind that as well so yeah thoroughly recommend it but as i was in the museum it did strike me how male dominated it is. There are so many really white men as well, um, busts and portraits. And there are there are female and other ethnicities in there as well. Um, and I know the gallery is making a lot doing a lot of work to try and redress the balance, but it did really strike me how how significantly white men have paid for their place in history to be remembered um, and that is changing but I think we all need to talk about this more as well so the next time you're in a gallery or uh, you know particularly a national collection just have a count of the gender and ethnic balance of, of the portraits on, on show or the works on show um, something we need to do and you know it wasn't that women weren't painting or doing portraits in this case um, they just weren't being showed and we just didn't have the money to leave huge donations to places and um, anyway it, it's interesting how yeah I just maybe it's because I haven't been there for a couple of years um, it really struck me this time around um, but that said um, you know in defense of the, <laughs> the National Gallery I know that they are trying to redress the balance there so that's been my week. Um, I hope you're keeping well. Um, thanks again for all the likes and shares on Instagram. I know I've maybe not been as active this week as normal, um, but I've been doing other things. And you know, that's the, the life of an artist is varied. You don't always spend your time painting. Anyway, I hope you're keeping well. And um, as ever, if you want me to talk about anything in these um, updates, then do just let me know. So take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.